All right, guys, well, this is a sort of a channel update. Um, I have had a few things happen, and some of you know about it, some of you don't, so I thought I'd kind of let you guys know. And it's more of like a warning, I think, for a lot of people, especially you fishermen that are out in the sun a lot. So I ended up going to the doctor for a spot that was on my neck, and I'll put a picture up right now on it, uh, what that spot was. And it didn't look anything bad, it just looked like a freckle. I get a lot of them, obviously, I'm a redhead. Uh, it turned out that it was uh, melanoma, and uh, they had to cut it out. So they first uh, did a biopsy. That was a pain in the butt, but no big deal. When they found out it was uh, melanoma, I had to go back in, and this past Wednesday, I had a big section cut out of my neck. Um, now, I'm going to put a picture up of it, but for those of you that are queasy with things, um, I mean, it's not that bad but there's definitely stitching and, and you know, I'm gonna put this up. So keep that in mind. If you're queasy, stop watching or fast forward or something. Um, but uh, yeah, so putting it up, one, two, three, there we go. So as you can see, um, a big section of my neck was taken out um, and uh, very painful, uh, not enjoyable. Um, and it's just my fault. See, I, you know, when I was young, I didn't always put on sunscreen. Um, and I, I got burnt quite a bit. In fact, uh, I had one really bad time where I went out all day on a boat with a buddy, and I forgot sunscreen with me, um, had my shirt off, and, you know, just basically fished all day on a boat uh, from, like, 5 a.m. to, you know, 9 p.m., basically. We were just out all day. And I forgot sunscreen. Uh, my buddy handed me a bottle that he said was sunscreen. I lathered it all over me. It turned out it was baby oil. It actually made me burn worse, and I had uh, second-degree burns, blisters all over my body. Uh, that happened when I was younger. Uh, I think I was about 18 or 19 or so when that happened. Um, but they say a lot of damage that is done when you're a kid or younger or whatever, you know, young age, uh, can haunt you in the, the future when you're older. Uh, so all of you that are young and even those that are older, just keep in mind, uh, put sunscreen on. Um, you know, now we do know that sunscreen tends to hurt fly lines. So if you're fly fisherman, um, you know, you get that on your hands, it can actually hurt the fly line. So I actually hate putting on sunscreen. Um, of course, I'm going to do it now. But uh, if I don't have a shirt like this. Now, this is one of my shirts, as you can see. Got my logo on it. I do sell these. Uh, I think they're uh, anywhere from $32 to $35, depending on uh, the style. There's one without a hood, and there's uh, one like this with a hood. Now I really like this because I can do this. Okay, so whether you get mine or you get a Sim shirt or you get Patagon, I don't care. You know, just some shirt that's a sun shirt like this. And it really helps to get the ones with the hood like this. And what happens is this basically protects everything. Look, my ears are protected, everything. This is rated up to 55, I think, um, uh, for sun protection. And you do this, I mean, I'm a redhead, and I burn really easy, and I don't get burnt like this. And then, you know, if you put, like, a neck gaiter, something to cover up your nose, you're good to go. And um, you really kind of don't even need sunscreen. Um, however, if you want to use it as well, you can. But I highly recommend it, guys. Um, very important. Wear sunscreen or get one of these sun shirts, whether it's mine or another brand. I don't care. Um, of course, you'll pay, like, $65 for a Sims one, <laughs> I think. Uh, maybe more. Uh, and these are like 35 so I try to keep the cost down on mine, but whether it's mine or someone else's, um, uh, you know, just get a, get a couple shirts, and when you go fishing, when you're out all day in the sun, lather up with sunscreen or wear something like this. Uh, I also protect my hands with gloves, too. So I'm going to put a link in the description section for this shirt if you guys are interested, um, and also a neck gaiter that I use that works just fine for me. Um, and also some fingerless gloves that I use that work fine for me too. So especially in the summer when you got some brightness, uh, right now is winter. Um, I don't always protect myself as much. I'm going to from now on in the winter, but definitely in the summer with the hot sun. So keep this in mind guys, wear some sun protection and, uh, um, you know, don't, don't get melanoma like me. This is not fun. And hopefully it doesn't spread. Luckily, um, I will say to everyone, it is the lowest kind. It's a 1A uh, category. So that means very unlikely to spread. So that's good for me. But I caught it early. I and mean, you just never know. Um, so especially people with darker skin, it's harder to see these things come up. Um, and so keep that in mind, guys. Uh, I don't care how dark of skin you are you can still get melanoma. So um, protect yourself and, you know, enjoy the outdoors. Enjoy it, but 
protect yourself. So, all right, guys. Well, this is a quick little update. Um, I will see you guys on the next video. Now you guys go catch some fish.